What we are seeing in patients with neurofibromatosis being treated for their plexiform neurofibromas with MEK inhibitors and, and selumetinib is that in addition to reduction in the size of tumors, we're also seeing um, often a pain relief that's starting quite soon after initiation of treatment. Um, we're also seeing um, changes and improvement in neurologic functions such as strength, um, uh, gait, uh, and other things that might have been impacted by the, by the plexiform neurofibroma. The recent uh, positive results of the clinical trials using MEK inhibitors and, and selumetinib uh, are really changing the way we think about treating neurofibromatosis. Uh, in the past, there really have not been any disease-modifying therapies for NF1, and with the availability of MEK inhibitors and selumetinib, uh, it, along with the data from the clinical trials suggesting that the majority of patients uh, show some benefit, um, we are really starting to uh, uh, treat many more patients medically uh, prior to thinking about surgically, surgical treatment. Um, and we are able to give our patients options about how to approach treatment of their tumors. Um, it off also offers the possibility for treating tumors that we wouldn't have had any options for before uh, when they were not uh, surgically uh, approachable. If selumetinib is approved for the use of treatment of plexiform neurofibromas, the specific indication will be for children aged 3 to 18 with NF1 and an inoperable uh, symptomatic plexiform neurofibroma. That will probably be the, the first population of patients that will be uh, treated uh, with selumetinib. Um, there are thoughts that selumetinib and other MEK inhibitors may have additional potential therapeutic uses outside of that age window, for instance, adults with plexiform neurofibromas or children uh, under the age of three. Uh, additionally, uh, patients who are having uh, pain because of plexiform neurofibromas, even if it is operable, might also be uh, considered for a treatment with these medications. Um, there are also thoughts that these medications may be helpful for other symptoms associated with neurofibromatosis type 1, and there are a number of clinical trials that are being considered to look at uh, the use of selumetinib and other MEK inhibitors for treatment of things like cutaneous neurofibromas, um, there are already clinical trials for optic pathway gliomas, um, possibly uh, future clinical trials for a cognitive uh, impairment in neurofibromatosis. Um, so I, I think that the potential use for these drugs can be quite broad, um, though the initial indication will be more limited. At this point, it really remains to be seen which patients are the optimal patients to offer treatment with MEK inhibitors um, and what the right timing is, to be honest. Um, we are still in the process of determining whether or not being proactive and treating tumors while they are small and presymptomatic is better than waiting until they are larger and causing uh, neurologic impairment, functional impairment, or, or other symptoms. Um, and I think that it will take some time uh, using these medications in, in a variety of patients before we fully um, uh, understand how to stratify patients in terms of which ones uh, undergo therapy and which ones uh, uh, wait. Why would we treat with MEK inhibitors or selumetinib rather than just treat symptoms? Our, our hope in using, the, using these medications is that we actually modify the course of the disease, uh, reducing the growth of, of tumors, reducing the potential threat these tumors might cause to uh, surrounding structures, uh, in addition to treating the symptoms. The impending approval of a medication that is specifically indicated for patients with neurofibromatosis and plexiform neurofibromas uh, is having a tremendous impact both on the patient population as well as clinicians caring for these patients. I've been taking care of NF1 patients for about 20 years and uh, the Approval of these medications is already totally changing the conversations I have with families about the disease, the future, and what to hope for. In the past, we have been limited to either treating symptoms or recommending surgery. 
having a medication that can slow, stop, or even reduce uh, tumor growth uh, in these patients, um, I think the impact is, is um, really unlimited in many ways. And the um, amount of hope that it brings to the families we take care of is, is tremendous.